I know what our game plan, like, on this first point fight was to stack up. You see on the little hill bit there, like, stack up on the left side to sort of have the Makoa flank round onto the left side of the point to try and go for the support or the talus. That was the game plan here. Yeah. Okay, and so... That's, yeah, really all I remember from this was that we were stacking up on the left side. So you're... What do you mean? You're the double damage boost, yeah? So left side for you is wall. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So the, your game your game plan as a team was to r run down this side. It, yeah, it was to sort of have... It was to sort of pinch them. Yeah, like, I don't really know. This was Dayton's thing. Like, Dayton did everything both, for the most part. But it was normally sort of bait the Talus to flank us. So he would use his TP. And then he would normally have his TP on the left side, which was when I would try and go for a hook, but it sort of never really worked out like that. It was... We just sort of killed them, and then we won. So game plan again was to run down left side and pincer them in, yeah? Well, pincering them in yeah, only like... works if you have someone who's going to push right side. And create yeah, a pincer, because we, a pincer we, is an we, attack we, from did both up, sides. we do end up going onto the right side. <laughs> Like, we did, we realised the mistake quite quickly, but it was a thing. I don't know. Okay, so anyway. So you've got a damage boost comp, yeah, you've got double healer, I know you're playing damaging, but you've still uh, technically got double healer, yeah? Mm. So you've got double healer with that double damage boost. You've got a fairly decent but aggressive composition. So what I think you should be doing is maybe sending the Khan and the Tyra wall side and sending your Mokoa and uh, Ying here to fight point. Uh, you can even push them round yeah. a little bit if there's nothing coming around. Because if you're going to take this wall side and they decide they don't want to fight think, wall side... So you, you know what you're saying. I think Khan and Tyra do go wall side. I feel like Khan and Ying, I think, go wall side. Uh, the, the, I think Rosu did the point fighting, and then it was me and Tyra on that left side of the hill. I can't okay. really remember entirely, but I'm pretty sure yeah, that they the were one. wall side on the point. Okay. But yeah, so basically, if you don't take something to stop them from pushing this area, they will just push this here, yeah? And if they can get a talus mm. in your back line, anywhere in your back line, and you don't know exactly where his TP or where he is... He can cause a lot of problems for you. That's the whole reason Talos is still good. He's got insane burst damage, he's a hit scan, so he's good with tracking. Quick mobility. And just has the ability to go in and out of a fight at an instant. Which makes him a constant mm. problem. Because you didn't if you didn't kill him, you don't know where he is unless you know exactly where that TP is. Yeah, so he could come out past the corner during the next fight when you're half distracted and just melt you in seconds. Yeah. That's the reason you want to be holding this side. So we'll see where everyone goes real quick. Okay, so we do have, we do send the Ying here, but the rest of us go here. But you see immediately they, they push yes. aggressive over here onto this side. There you go, Talos is back again. I think he, I think he put his rune a little bit too cautiously. Yeah, he played his rune. And he is playing like a backline right now. Like he, sh he should be, once he gets this rune, he should be putting it down and just pushing it. Go and push something. Go push his Khan off a point. Go push the McCall with us alone. Go push the isolated target. But look, now everyone's grouped up again. Your Khan's on point. They should be melting your Khan right now. Okay, I so, don't so far, you've... You've sort of done what you've needed to. Yeah? That's a good hook there. Um, okay, we're pushing, 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 pushing. Okay. What really should have happened there into this fight... And what didn't happen from basically both teams just forgot that this side of the map actually exists. Um, this Talus never really put his TP in a risky position to get a better pick. He never really pushed into you. And it, mm. it, it just results in eventually, because you, they've only got a Leon against your double hill as consistent damage, it allows your off tanks to make enough space for your Tyro to push in with the damage marks, yeah? And eventually you just yeah. start getting kills because they start falling back 
and don't really push. What? There was moments you was out here alone and you was a free kill. Right here. If they were positioned properly. Mm. Because your whole team was back here. And what's that? That small distance might not seem like a lot. There's a wall in the way. Yeah? They can't support you immediately. Yeah, yeah they can't. Like, you have to use a movement ability to get out and then you have to use shield. They should realize you've burnt two cooldowns, run off, go kill the Khan that's on point alone, or force him off of the point, and then come back to you over here who's got no cooldowns to defend your team anymore other than that hook. But that hook's an aggressive cooldown. It's not a defensive cooldown in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. But they don't... You, you, you win the fight, and we get what we get. Yeah? So I like this, I like the fact that you're forcing out what's alive. Yeah, you've got no one watching this right the left hand side though, it takes a while this the term. Yeah, uh, I, tr I think if I he had, try If he had been like patient, even... your DPS probably mm -hmm. would have looked away. And he would have been able to get through on his horse. But fortunately he wasn't patient. He ran past whilst your DPS were looking there. This fight here again, like their five man stack in this little tiny area. I like the fact that you've taken more space. That Ying ult completely worthless. It heals him and yeah, him alone. <clears throat> the Tyra ult, okay, yeah, you trade the Grove ult. You've traded two for one ults and we've gained no ground. Really, than what we had before. They're still fighting in this corner. You're still in there. They're still here. No, no one's yeah, contesting, so they're yeah. giving you free push. They should have pushed this Khan a long time ago, by the way. That ult, it turns their attention. Why they haven't killed you yet, I don't know. But that ult there, you wait way too long, yeah? You should have come out way earlier. Again, another shit ult. Um, no, at least go for the support if everyone's still help. Um... It's a decent ult. He gets a kill. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> finally, we're forcing the terminus, uh, forcing the Khan out. Uh, late decisions from them. Ying ult popped for a Grover ult, which is fine at this point. Okay, you've got a Ying. You realize Ying can get up to this high ground, right? Uh. <coughs> I didn't think about that, so I completely yeah, like, I don't yeah, think she you're playing, really used you're playing that Yeah, you're playing damaging, like you can just TP up here and get behind them and they're not, they're not watching here at all. You would literally go up here and be free and if you get pressured you come back down. That, 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 that fight there takes a long time and it's just a fuck fest of you guys standing in one position being shot at and them standing in one position and being shot at. Yeah. Mm. So, this this bit here is important to get because you want to be able to push into their backline and use these two line of sight breaks here to be able to shoot up there or even take up these stairs to make them look away from that area, yeah? You, as yeah. tanks, ideally you want them to look away from the point long enough for either you or another person on your team to push in. In that situation there, yeah? Yeah. But, it, you, you, had, you felt like you had to contest the whole time. The payload wasn't going to go back far enough. You just needed to win a team fight. Eventually, you do win it, but as you can see, it costs you almost everything. You have a carnal and maybe a coal roll in a few seconds. Yeah, I think, I think it's just safe here again. Really yeah, same thing again. Now. We're grouped up on wall side, which is fine. You can play grouped up on wall side, but look, you've cut yourself off from your team almost. Use both your cooldowns. Now you've got nothing defensively to help your team, and you're going back out. Yeah? Hmm. Again, you should be caught out here, and you do actually get punished that time. You should never push that. You had no cooldowns, other than the hook. And again, hmm. the hook's aggressive, it's not defensive. You've got no way of getting out or defending yourself. Uh, your Khan shouldn't be on point right now. I mean, he should, but he shouldn't. He should be touching the point for the overtime touch and then getting off. Yeah, and making sure he's in a position where either he or someone else can touch. Yeah? You you do get yeah. this overtime touch he, here, he, but... The, his point, point juggling wasn't all that good. I, it's a higher skill, so I don't mind it so much, but... 
at the same time, you, you're now taking this fight. That tower assault again is just trash. Like, anyway, distracted from terrible tower assaults, you're doing exactly what they done, which is group up in this small area. Yeah? You don't yeah. you don't have the area here burst hill that they had. It's not as effective for you. I like the fact you spread out one of the healers over here to focus on that and the other one over here to focus on these two. And that's exactly how it should be played. Genos shouldn't even be healing this Khan unless this Khan gets low. Yeah? And he should just the Khan should just be playing with the Ying Illusions whilst you two play with the Genos and the da damage boost that the Genos provides on top of the Tyra Genos boost to push them back. Yeah? Mm. It does it does sort of work, but that's because they sloppily pushed. Again, a, a, again, a kill that could have been avoided. Just power siphon for Yulian until she's out. And, and then they're pushing in with four, like four people. Like chill, relax. Ying ult pops. Okay, they don't have all members, and I don't think you is at risk of losing anyone. So I'm not sure that was a good kill. And then Tao yeah, finally okay, decides to do what Talos does best. Which is appear away from the fight and get someone in a 1v1. But okay, like here, alright. Uh, he just got staggered to oblivion because he wasn't running at point or the healer. Yeah, you, you, you've given them free push at this point. You're not getting ult charge, they're getting ult charge and push and point. Like, it's free push for them. Up to pretty much up to about mm. here, yeah. You, you like, uh, this this contest is super late, and you you miss both the advantage contest points, yeah, because no one's paying attention. And you waste Yamal assault at the end. Okay, so let me just pause real quick. Right, we'll we'll ignore that for a second. P the the two positions you can contest from as a tank, obviously one is here, if it's right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if the payload is here. Or just peeking its nose from there, you can contest it from here, yeah? If it's yeah. any further than that, you can contest it from here. But if it's almost on point, you literally have to get down to contest, which means you have to put yourself in a disadvantaged position, yeah? You have to get down yeah. here, which allows them to shoot at you from under there, from there, from there, from there, from the point. Whereas if you're up here, ever so slightly, and you're contesting here, Look how much further they have to come in in order to push you. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. They physically... I'm going to go in from their perspective. They cannot see that tank that's up there in that corner unless they're here. Yeah? Or maybe they can see the foot if they're here. But look how much further in they have to be than if you're down at the bottom. Yeah? Yeah, it's basically that like curve. You're easy. cutting out line of sight, and if and then if they want to come contest again, they have to push right in. Um. Is anyone in position to help this terminus? This is all right. Sorry, because I'm probably going to use this as a video. I'm just going to go over this as well. This is terrible from them. Um. Ideally, if they're gonna play wall side, they play wall side, yeah. So they take this now instead of. This is probably I, I want to say this is miscommunication, and that their idea was to take wall side as quick as possible, have the barracks sit on point, and have the terminus check that side just in case. And if there was no one there, sit term on point and have barrack rotate over. And push mm. off, yeah. I, I want to say that's what they were doing because even that isn't optimal because ideally you just have term check and he's still on his horse and his horse he just runs over to this side if if he's needed over here instead of over here but diving into five people like this yes you have all they have carnal uh sorry you i have, think he does you I have carnal he uses it here. i'm not too sure yeah you also have makoa hook so e even if your team does kill him here before he gets carnal I went off the map, obviously. Yeah. You, you then hook him immediately or carnal him again. Probably hook because you don't really want to waste the ult for ult. Yeah? You want to kind of keep that ult mm -hmm. advantage if you can. 
Ideally, you don't want to kill him here anyway as a team. You want the Khan to ult him here and throw him off map. He has the time to walk to the edge of the map before anyone really does any damage to him. Um, and whilst, do, like, as much as I hate the fact that you're five stacked over here, because, you know, Tao's a thing and Tao could just say, Oh, hello. Yeah. And then uh, Barrett can also just come around and protect the Talus, and the Leon can come up here and just shoot up if they wanted to take this fight here. Because you've got really no one watching angles. Everyone's looking at this turn. L except except the one person who should be looking at the turn. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone except the one person who should be looking at the Terminus is looking at the Terminus. But okay. So we play... That's a good stun. Tal comes in. Which is not the right thing to do. He shouldn't waste his ult there. And then you're, you're doing exactly the same thing as I told your team not to do yeah you go one for one with a towel or what is it worth it one for one is not worth it really in that situation there you used an ult to get that yeah they've got two ults but not really worth it because you're 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 just about to go even with them on the point as well yeah and now they're retail like you're dead even on point and now they've got the advantage of pushing you all back yeah Okay, again, you're alone. Yeah. You're singled out. You've got no one really with you. You're forced to retreat. Can't hold. Um, But yeah, you retake all that. I think I remember watching that on stream, actually. Yeah, he had an enlightenment, like, lined up, and he just didn't press it for some reason. Like, it was a three triple kill, and he just could have pressed triangle. He'd not been can in. And... Um, yeah, your can just gets busted, because... Just Khan against Talus is not a fun matchup. Okay, you miss a hook? You should be falling back right now. Like, get the fuck out of there and dodge. Yeah, stop pushing this payload for half a second. Get the fuck back. No, because I think we... The generals did make the call out to ult in there, which was why I didn't immediately fall back. Yeah, you should still fall back. You want them to push into that, so you want them to come chase him. Yeah. As you see, none of the squishies yeah. came chasing because they didn't have the space to come chase. Because you were still there. You were still a threat. So you didn't want to chase. Um, okay, yeah. The, the, this this skewish fight happens here. This is a bit better from you guys. You don't push everyone into that little room. You sort of surround them. You do it quickly as well and you ride off of the advantages you have. Again, like, see, like, they do the exact same thing. They contest really late, and it's like, everyone can see you now. Dude, just contest a bit earlier from a position where they can't. It's never good to put a terms contest in anyway against the McCall, because McCall will just took him. But, yeah, it's it's not good. There's a lot of, a lot of sloppy, like, fundamentals. I can't really go in depth, and I won't, because, you know, your team as a whole needs to really work on fundamentals here. So immediately, uh, your team liked to play, like, didn't really play this side too much, but the line of sight breaks here are obviously, there's this one here, if you're trying mm. to push this this wall here, yeah? Uh, if someone's yeah. pushing there and you don't want the team to look, they have to come out in the open and the rest of your team should be looking over there. And you should be like standing here behind this pillar to force them to look, you know? Yeah. Like you, small character models, most of them sit behind those perfectly fine to put pressure. Th this fight is really open anyway. The best thing to do is just to take it slowly and wait for the other team to push up too far sometimes and just evaporate. Push them through this bit if no one's watching through this bit. The pincer in, like you were saying. But yeah. a, pin pin a pincer does involve pushing from both directions. Um. Like, when you're playing wall side, if you stand or come up here, the only people that can help you are the people standing back there. Yeah, they're yeah. The, only one, the only ones that can actually get any form of line of sight on you. And if you push in even further, even they can't help you anymore, yeah? There was times you was caught out right in this spot here. Yeah. There, there's nothing they can do to help you. They have to come out into the open, come around, and put themselves in a less advantage position. The only advantageous position they can have is this one. But it's useless. It's probably gonna mess their shot up more than it's gonna mess the enemy shot up, yeah? Yeah. 
Um, when playing point, when someone says contest, it's different to someone saying get overtime, yeah? Touch for yeah, overtime yeah. literally means touch for overtime. Do you know the time? Do you know the percentages you need to touch for overtime? Yeah. So anything from 94%, I believe, upward gives you overtime if you touch. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's 94, 96 to be exact, yeah? But touch for overtime yeah, yeah, yeah. literally means touch. Touch, back off, yeah? And yeah, then if you need to touch again, we, we someone got that else confused touched again. Well. Sybil got that confused because he would touch point and then die on it. I, okay. I did that as well with Dr. Fools, but I that, that, couldn't get out. That's why it's cl it's it's um, really important to say the difference, whether you mean touch or contest. Yeah? Contest yeah. point means stand on it. Contest it. Make it cut if you stand on point. With me? Make it say contesting. Yeah? Yeah. But if I just touch... So, go on it. Cap it. It just gives me the one contest, and then it doesn't say it anymore, yeah? Yeah, so you get, like, they get one less tick on it or something like they, that. They get one less straight. tick, that, that half a second tick, and then they get the overtime delay counter, yeah? Yeah. And if you keep touching that, and coming off, coming back on, touching it, coming off, back on, are you going to reset that overtime counter every time? So you've got to be able to play on the the three different counters, okay? So you've got the slow, the medium, and the fast counter, yeah? Yeah. The, the slow counter... Cap the point to 99% for me. Okay, so stand on it. Uh. Okay, so that's the slow one. You've got one, and two, and three, and four. So about five seconds, yeah? So you've bought yeah. your team a whole five seconds with that one. Go back on it now. That's the medium one. You get about half the time to about three, two thirds of the time, yeah. So you yeah. get about two to three seconds, yeah. All right, you just count oh, that one. Shit. But basically, the the next one's about a second long, yeah. Yeah. So it's like three different stages of an overtime. Yeah. So you've got basically three different counts. Anything past that third one, you're probably never getting a touch. Nice. Yeah. I'm standing here. You can't push that payload anymore. Nice, I can't, I can't actually see you here, yeah? Yeah. I have to come all the way around to here before I can see you, yeah? But you can now see me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. And if I come back a little bit, I can see your foot because of the way you're standing on it. But I'm not going to be in a game, I'm not going to be able to look up there and precisely aim at your foot. Yeah? Yeah, like, out of all things. Like, even when I was shooting you earlier, that was your hitbox, it wasn't even you. It's yeah, not, like, in that's a what I mean. Game, it's, such, it's such a small part of your body that you're showing. Yeah, yeah there's like <laughs> other people standing there, so they're not going to be able to do that. Plus, there's probably someone up top shooting at them. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're all, all back there. They're never going to be able to just stand there and precisely line up a shot onto your foot if they see it yeah and that yeah. contest point can be done with literally anyone it doesn't even have to be a tank it's just best to do with a tank because if they're pushing that far they've probably got the ability to push into your spawn this tunnel's got three different stages yeah you've got mm. the shit they pushed really far stage which is you've got to play this wall and just keep peeking out peeking out peeking out not taking too much damage yeah yeah You've got the, alright, we're contesting in the middle of here. You can play these boxes or you can play these stairs. Same thing, just keep peeking out, peeking out. You Ideally, you want someone here as well because they can just peek out. And come back to the wall, peek out. Come back to yeah. the wall, peek out. Yep. Same here, peek out, peek out. And then you've got the we're pushing, yeah? But you never go past yeah. here. Yeah, you have no reason. Unless you've killed people and they're falling back, you have no reason to go past this line, yeah? You just use yeah. this wall here to cut line of sight, and you shoot out through that way. Or you use this wall to cut line of sight, and you shoot out that way. Yeah? Yeah. And then again, if uh. you get taking too much damage, you just go, oh, okay. Yeah? You just go, oh, same same this side. You just go, oh, all right, I just take a couple of steps back. Yeah? They yeah, can't see you anymore unless they push yeah. in, in which case, 
they should be dead because you should have someone else in here and if you're playing a tank you probably have some form of CC or way of blocking their damage, yeah? Yeah. Make sense? Yeah, but that, that does. When defending it's more about holding ground and waiting for the other team to make a mistake. I, c I can't really go in more depth until you guys have the fundamentals down because there are fundamentals missing and it's the same with a lot of console teams. Most console teams are missing a lot of fundamentals at the moment. They're re re relying massively on their mechanical skill and their mechanical skill alone to carry them through a lot of games. Call in some of the best players in the game. Even times are times where they purely rely on mechanical skill. And there are times where you do have to, in a game, just say, I'm mechanically better than you, let me big dick you for two seconds to get kills. Yeah? Hmm. But you've got to do it at the right time and understand when's the right time to big dick someone and when's not. Very rare that a lot of the top players got better just by playing. Yeah. They yeah. had other players tell them what they were doing wrong. They had people say, look, you probably should try this instead of doing this. Or you should do that instead of doing this. A lot of those kids that sit there and ego on Twitter being like, oh, well, I didn't get any help when I was first starting playing the game and I'm now amazing. Like, you didn't get any help, no? All right, maybe someone directly didn't go over your VODs with you, but I guarantee that kids back in the day were telling you you shouldn't be doing this and you shouldn't be doing that. Or people on your own team were saying, oh, hang on a second, maybe you should try doing this instead of doing that. Or you came to them with a problem saying, oh, this isn't working, maybe we should do this. But you ego kids in ranked who either A, make the mistakes that you used to make before you was told otherwise, or B, are asking you for help, but you won't help them because they're just some random rank scrub. Here's the, here's the thing as well, okay? And this is something you should tell them. The idea of a VOD review isn't to sit there and point out everything you did right. Yeah? It yeah. isn't to boost your own ego and say, oh, look, I played really well here, I made this triple kill, or oh, I played really hell here, I did this amount of kills, or I did this amount of damage, or I did this, but we still lost. That's not the point of a VOD review, yeah? A VOD review is to look at everyone's performance, either individually or as a team, and point out every mistake made. Even if some of them are like really niche mistakes that you don't think are big mistakes and that, oh, but they worked out, you should still look at them objectively and think, oh, but what if someone had pushed us from this way? Or what if someone had come around from here? Or what if someone had, you know, just done something slightly different to what they did do, which allowed us to get what we did do work, yeah? For yeah. example, the one that comes to mind on this map, you're all grouped up to where I am now, which is the right-hand side by the statues, yeah? Where we're looking yeah. at the terminus about to dive in. If that barrack and talus pushed up, you were surrounded and you were stunned here, back here, yeah? Not you specifically, but your team, yeah? They, yeah. The squishies were all stunned back here. And then it would have been up to you and the Khan, and I don't remember if the Khan was or wasn't stunned, but it would have been up to you and the Khan to push away a talus before he gets a kill. Yeah? Yeah, my hook... Uh, I... Yeah, my hook wasn't down, so it would have... I mean, it, 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 yeah, it can happen, but how many times are you going to hook a talus that you don't know is about to push up and that you have no line yeah. of sight on? Yeah? Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, this is why stacking in this little bit was dangerous. Even though it worked out for you because you do get the kills, you have to think, what if the barrack was here? What if the talus and the barrack were here when they got that stun? What if the Leon then was also back here waiting for that moment that you get stunned and then she pushes in and then the talus pushes in that was dead back that was dead back line like there's no way about it no two ways about it but because it was only a terminus that pushed in we got away with you get away way. with it and it doesn't look like a mistake but it is a mistake yeah it's just, they're, they're the sort of things when you do a VOD review you've got to look at and think to yourself about.